Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's me, DRL65, better known as Daryl Cray. I just thought I'd jump in here tonight and let everybody know how everything's going. Things are getting pretty good. Um, was at the doctor uh, last week, uh, late last week, uh, Thursday or Friday. But um, got on the scale. Uh, she said uh, mechanical scale, you can't really trust them. But I got on it and 247. Now, um, I can't trust the mechanical. Like I said, they could be plus or minus five pounds. But um, hey, 247, that's good for me. I'll take it. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm a little higher than that, probably about seven, eight pounds higher. Because, um, like I said, I just can't trust those scales. But we're doing great. Um, down to a size 42 pants which is getting pretty uh, loose on me now so I'm actually thinking that we're going to be sliding into the uh, 40 soon works for me for you guys that are just coming in now don't be shocked uh, this is the new look um, a lot of the guys are saying that it's the badass look uh, but uh, hey it's the new look for me um, actually we did this for uh, a family member uh, was diagnosed with cancer and we decided to clean it uh, so that she wouldn't feel so uh, alone in the situation uh, actually there were a few of us that did it so um, hey like I said I like the look the missus likes the look the kids think it's pretty tough um, so it looks like it's here to stay it's, it's more manageable <laughs> But when it does get cold, it gets cold. God, does it get cold. Brr. Anyways, um, numbers. Like I said, pant size. We're down from 52 to 42, working on 40. Um, shirts. We've gone from a 4X to a 2X, working on an extra large. Um, weight between 256 and 247, somewhere in there. We're not real sure. I do actually have a weight management um, appointment Thursday, so I will get the official number from him. Um, Dr. Cesaric is a great doctor. Um, he's helped me manage my weight, uh, pre-surgical and post-surgical. So, um, thanks to Dr. Cesaric. Oh, let's see, excuse me. The following day, um, we actually have our surgical follow-up. This will be, let's see, July, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, 28, 29, 30, 31 weeks, uh, give or take a week. I'm not real sure of those numbers um, because some have five, some have four. We'll, but we're looking at about 31 weeks. Um, in 31 weeks, I've gone from 397, actually, my post-surgical weight, the day that I went in, was actually about 389. So 389 to 2, we'll even say 250. We'll balance in the middle. So 149 pounds. 139 pounds. Somewhere in there. It's just not a good night for numbers for me. Um, started back to work in September. Um, issues with the back. Uh, came real quick um, with the white going off I figured it'd be a lot better for my back but unfortunately the back's getting worse so um, they closed a few stores and being the bottom man on the totem pole I closed with them so we're back on an employment again looking for something to hold me over come uh, summertime I'm gonna start taking taxes working for H&R Block so I will be giving taxes come this next tax season. Probably make a few people happy. Probably make a lot of people angry. But um, my other hobby that I've got on here besides losing weight now, losing my hair now, is collecting autographs. So a lot of you guys probably came in when I first started, and then we switched off to another site. Unfortunately, I've lost my mind and can't remember the site's name. So I could do some research. So I decided that I'm going to take and post a few things on here. That I've got in the past few weeks. Um, great successes. They will actually come um, 
quite well with this site with my weight loss and my eating good and cooking good so um, let me go ahead and pull these up um, I do a lot of stuff uh, celebrities uh, politicians all sorts of good stuff um, recently started doing a new fave a uh, new setup um, my autograph books uh, I got one two three four five six in the past four months um, four of them are outstanding I got two today it just blew my mind and then I've also received some emails in that state that I'm going to be getting um, a few more so um, give me a second here my phone is ringing about that we will get back to them um, where was it oh yeah so anyways um, one of the ones that I've got is um, back to the table the reunion of food and family by Art Smith I don't know if you guys can really see that uh, fairly good book and then when I open it up um, signed by Art Smith so that's one that I got back. Real good, nice book. Um, then another one I got, Cooking with David Burke. David Burke is probably one of my favorite chefs. Um, and then in the front cover, Duane, Enjoy Your Cooking, David Burke. So we got that one. Um, let's do the cookbook first. So then today we got Eric, avec Eric, Eric Rippert. I hope I said it right. If I didn't, Eric, I apologize. But sent this one in the mail. Um, actually sent him an email asking for a simple request for a simple autograph. And tonight, let's see if I can get to the page. UPS guy knocked on the door. And you look real closely. There it is. Enjoy, Eric Rippert. So this is a real nice one. Um, this guy does a lot of real good cooking. Um, I love his show on PBS here. Um, and then this one here is another one uh, from Chef John Fulce. Um Been talking back and forth with him. I love his stuff because it's like Louisiana cooking. This one is called Something Old, Something New. Louisiana cooking with a change of heart. And that's the book there. Sorry about the glare. There we go. There's a good one. And then when you open it up in the front cover, to Wayne. Let's see if I can get that. Good cooking. Chef Fulls. So I got those ones. I was real happy with that. Those are going to be real good because I plan on when we get our new house, hopefully uh, if my disability goes through, we get a new house. It's going to have a beautiful kitchen those puppies are going to be on the shelf then we've got these other ones um, this guy I actually met in person um, the book is called Homeland Security the beginning Paul B. Lubinetsky I believe I said that right and if I didn't apologize, I apologize but here's the book um, sort of a thriller espionage type um, conspiracy theory slash espionage but uh, this guy was, this is one of his second book, I believe. Um, but he served in the Army in uh, Vietnam, so Ua, my boy. Um, but inside, uh, we were at the mall, and he actually signed it to me. So that was a nice one. Um, another one you guys hear, if anybody's from Ohio, um, know this guy. He's a legend um, from... TV been with the company 47 years um, used to be Big Chuck and, and uh, Hulahan show was on with the ghoul and all that good stuff uh, super host but I got Big Chuck Ch Chuck Shadowski and then we met him at the mall and great guy um, once again let's see if we can get a good shot there there we go hope you enjoy the memories Good, be good big Chuck um, him and little John great show this one was probably my favorite one um, this one I picked up at the secondhand store for a buck when I saw the book you know I have a bad habit of browsing through 
but when I open this one up, uh, this is one, Jamie Farr um, from MASH, probably one of my favorite shows, always good for a laugh, a lot of uh, heart moving. Um, we just started our new PC, which is my personal collection, um, with um, the MASH collection. So this one actually went well with it. I've got another one of his, but it's an 8x10 headshot. So, but when I opened it up, there it is. A good interview, maybe. Enjoy Jamie Farr back in 95. So, that was a real nice one for me. But, um, that's basically what I do to keep my mind off food um, when I can't can eat. Uh, we've had some issues now uh, for quite a while eating certain foods. We've learned that uh, beef is no longer on my menu um, and that's pretty bad because I am a beef and potato guy. So, um, but the good thing is I'm also a hunter so deer is at the top of my list now and I can eat it well. Um, it goes down so smooth. I, I don't have any issues of throwing up or anything like that. So no dumping. So uh, we've replaced the beef with the venison. Uh, hoping to try some rabbit and squirrel, maybe. Uh, we're supposed to go do some rabbit hunting here next week or so. So uh, I look forward to that. Uh, bow season just ended, and of course no luck. So we're sticking with chicken this year. I've got one more... Uh, package of ground beef so any of you guys out there in YouTube land that are hunters and have spare meat shoot me a line um, like I said uh, beef is no longer on my menu pork is running a close second to that but deer I can eat so if you guys want to help me out I uh, see what we can do um, I guess I got a lot of great recipes for deer so I, I look forward to doing that uh, hopefully uh, the season opens up this year. I'm going to be out there practically every weekend. Uh, my brother-in-law may be leaving for Southern Ohio, which is my hunting partner, my buddy, my my big homie. Um, my uh, bookend to this, he shaved his head too. So, um, but hopefully he sticks around for another season and we can go spend some time in the woods, uh, go out there and kill something. Um, other than that, uh, I think we're done. I got a lot of autographs going out, requests going out this week. So, um, I guess that's it. It's all my friends out there, uh, Derwin, uh, Eric, Shrink and Susie, all you guys out there. Um, I want to thank you guys for sticking by me, for making it all possible to get this far. Uh, like I said, you know, uh, close today. I'll give you guys a real time body shot just to show you where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up. Uh, I don't want this video to go too long. We're already at 13 minutes. So let's move this way back. And let's see what we can do. So here we are. Like I said, this is actually a loose shirt. So this is where I'm at. Double X shirt, a little loose, a lot of loose actually. So, um, like I said, uh, that's not gonna be good. That's the glare off the ceiling light. So, I will sit back down, pull back up my cushy chair. <sighs> Fix my camera again, and there I am. So, that was pretty much it guys um, like I said a few changes not real big ones like first out but still happy with you know 140 plus pounds lost in 30 weeks uh, I'm sure the doctor didn't think I was gonna lose it that fast uh, just mind-blowing I figured I'd be 60 70 pounds lighter and be happy but breaking that 300 mark um, that was 97 pounds gone um, now breaking the 250 mark so that puts me three ninety seven to two hundred fifty hundred forty seven pounds almost hundred fifty and I'm still losing uh, still got my goal I'm shooting for 
3840 in the waist and roughly between 220 and 230. So I'm close. Um, we'll see what happens in the next couple months. Uh, hopefully by summertime I'll be down to my goal and that can do a set of good shorts. Excuse me. Trying to get the doctor to okay me to get back into the gym, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen because of my back. So I will close with you guys saying God bless you all. Good luck to those people that are coming in to the loser's bench. Uh, just coming in post-surgery. Um, for those guys that are considering the surgery, hey, I know it's a big step, um, a big decision, but it's a decision that you have to make because living with the weight that we've been living with is it's torture on your body it's a death sentence waiting to be executed and carried out um, it's just a matter of when it's a ticking time bomb between the heart problems the high blood pressure the diabetes kidney problems and all that i've been there i know it um, you know I, I had my enlarged heart because of the weight uh, copd because of the heart I've actually backed off using the machine quite a bit. Um, they have to do a new sleep study because of my uh, my throat. So um, we'll get that done and see if we even need the CPAP anymore. Uh, but until then, um, keep checking my site out. I'll keep checking your videos out. Uh, keep passing the good word along to everybody. Um, tell you guys that are just going into surgery, or you guys are in our prayers. So until the next time I come in, uh, God bless, peace, and good luck.